you can make a seating chart using Google Slides. Use this free add-on sponsored by Schoolytics to do it. You're going to need to start with a Google Doc. So notice I am in a Google Doc and I have already pasted my roster of students. So I have their names and I'm going to come up to the add-ons menu. I'm going to choose get add-ons and I'm going to search for Schoolytics. Now this is sponsored by Schoolytics. It collects no user data, no PII. So this is safe for you to install. So I'm going to go ahead and select slides seating chart. And you're going to you want to use the install button. So we're going to install and it's going to ask you to authorize. Once again, this collects no user data, no PII, so you can go ahead and safely install this. And now it is permanently installed for any Google Docs. This is an add-on for Google Docs. So here I am in my Google Doc. I'm going to go to the add-ons menu. I'm going to find seating chart by slides by Schoolytics. So I'm going to come over and show sidebar. This is going to bring up a sidebar over here on the right hand side and when it opens, if you click visit Schoolytics.com, that is the sponsor, so it'll take you to the Schoolytics website. But if you want to create a seating chart, you're going to come down to where it says seating chart slides by Schoolytics and you're going to select create Google slides. And you can see that it is popping up. It is opening up in another tab. If it does not open up, it might be because your pop-ups are not enabled and then you'll be able to find this in your Google Drive. Now what this does is it's going to create a text box for each student and each of these are movable. So if you want to put them down into groups, you can just grab the edges and you can rearrange it so it looks more like your classroom might look. You have total control over this. Each of these text boxes it has a student's name and they're all individual. So you can put that into groups if you'd like. However you want to use this, this is your Google Slides. Now if you already have a Google Slides, I'm going to go to slides.google.com. I'm going to select a Google Slides. So here's a Google Slides I already have. I'm going to copy the link up here at the top. So back in my Google Doc, in the side where it says link to Google Slides, this is where you are going to link to a slides that you already own. So now when I create Google Slides, it's going to make it in the slides I already have. If you leave that box blank, it is simply going to create a brand new slides. But if you already have a slides that you want to add your seating chart to, you just need to paste the link to that slides right in the sidebar. Now this again is optional. So you can see that I have this seating chart with student names and it's pretty easy to use. Thank you for trying out seating chart slides sponsored by Schoolytics.